Our most Buffalo story of the day today starts with a Facebook post. Yana writes, Hi Kate, I live in West Seneca, graduated from Grand Island High School and completed my physics education bachelor's and master's at Buff State. I teach physics, earth science, astronomy, and meteorology at a local high school, and I'm looking for some local love and support. She goes on to say, I'm doing something a little, well, crazy. Like what, you may wonder? Let's find out. What is the crazy thing that you're doing? So I entered a competition to be on the cover of a, a, a tattoo magazine. And um, it's crazy for a couple things, for a couple reasons. I'm a school teacher. And secondly, uh, it's about showing skin. And uh, both things feel very uh, terrifying, <laughs> actually. Yana Russo is a lot of things, a woman in a STEM field, a teacher, a wife, a mother, a Western New Yorker, and yes, she is a contestant in the 2022 Inked Magazine Cover Girl competition. I do have a lot of tattoos, but I just always kind of thought like, I, I, that's career suicide, I can't do that, you know? And I've mentioned it to my family and my husband and my, my 15 year old daughter were both kind of like, you have to do it. If, if you're interested in doing it and you can't let that fear of what people are gonna say get in your way. And that was when things started to click for Yana. It became about more than a competition for her. It became a mission to find the courage in herself to do what she encourages her own children and students to do, walk the walk, and show them, well, it is not easy, it is worth it. I have always kind of feared expressing my you know, love of, of tattoos and my love of the culture because it's so often associated with over-sexualization. It's associated with like drug use, ab abuse and things like that. And I, I just felt such separation between what I love and what I do every day. I've been a teacher for 10 years and the way I choose to express myself, it just felt so so separated. And so this is the first time ever that one, I've kind of put myself out there in a way that I'm really not used to. And secondly, it's the first time I've ever had students and faculty really support something that I thought I would be judged for. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mindful that she may not change the opinion some people have of tattoos, this physics teacher does hope to use her expertise to provide some perspective that goes more than skin deep. Words probably aren't gonna be enough. I could say that I'm different, but if I show them that I'm different, it's hard to deny evidence like that. It's hard to just deny observations of, wow, that, that wasn't what I was expecting in that experiment. And so that's kind of how I approach them. I'm more than just the tattoos. I'm more than what the mainstream culture will, will depict of women with tattoos. So for me, it's already been a win, but obviously if I continued on, it would be even more to add to this amazing story that I can't wait to share over the years. And Yana says she's so grateful for the support she's already gotten from Western New York. If you would like to help boost her into the finals, we have the link for you on Facebook. By the way, the winner here gets $25,000. And Yana says if she wins that, a big chunk is definitely going right back in to her classroom. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well. We'll see you next time.